Hello everybody, I hope you're doing okay and welcome to my garden. Now, I've had a thought I've got too many pairs of shoes, I need to sell some, because I bought some new dragonflies and a pair of next percents in the Nike sale, but they're still costing quite a lot. So there's plenty of shoes that I've got that I never actually use and probably will never use again. So I thought, well, let's go have a look, see if I can actually sell a, a few on eBay, see if we can make any money, and maybe with enough sales I'll be able to buy a new pair of shoes. So let's go and have a look at the ones I think I might want to sell and then we'll go about the process. So we've got Daisy here in position. So as you can see, I've got all my shoes here, at least some of them. The rest of the shoes are in the car. So let's have a look at some of the ones I think that might be worth selling. So I bought these pair of Nike Zoom Flyknit Streaks, I think they're called, like a previous version of the Streak Fly. And uh, there was only in a 12. I thought they fitted at the time, but I never actually got around to using them. I think they just are too small. So I think they might um, be worth trying. And then I got these pair of Pure Boosts from Adidas, which bizarrely don't even have an insole. Um, I tried them once and they're not really great for running, but they haven't been used much. So might be able to get a bit of money for them, I think. And right at the bottom here is an old pair of Pegasus that I've worn a bit, but they're a Pegasus 32. But again, they're in a 12. So I think they're just basically too small for me. So I think I might try my luck with a pair of them as well. And these ones are potentially interesting. These are a pair of Adidas XT Boosts. Now, these are a 12 and a half, but I think these are so small now that I don't think I'm even get my foot into them. I've worn these a bit, and they're quite nice if they were actually did fit me, but I think it might be worth trying. A bit of a niche shoe, but um, if someone's got a smaller foot than me, then they may do. And then if we come over here, we've actually got two new pairs of Adidas shoes that I used to wear, the, the Supernova Glide 8 and a stability version of them. Now I used to wear this pair, the Supernova Glide 8s, but um, I stopped wearing them and I got another pair and never actually got around to using them. So these are brand new, so they might be worth a try as well. And this stability version here, is also brand new. I was put these, picked these up in an outlet shop and uh, false economy because I think I paid quite a lot of uh, money for them but never actually used them. So again they're only 12 and a half. I think these days they just feel a bit small for me so maybe they also do a turn for somebody. Okay so what I need to do now is reactivate my eBay account. I haven't done any eBaying for a couple of years. I managed to sell a few pairs of shoes, some cycle shoes as well a couple of years ago and actually with the proceeds bought a pair of 4% from a reseller in the states when they couldn't get a hold of them so that's sort of starting my sort of geekery, geekery journey i think so right let's see if i can activate my ebay account and see how we get on so before i take any pictures of the shoes for ebay i think i better give them a clean so i've got my ultra ground wipes here so i'm going to use it on these and these pegasus ones and these pure boosts which aren't actually looking too bad but um need to make them look good for uh, ebay don't we now on cleaning these ones, I've discovered that the insoles are no longer there. I don't know if you can actually see, but I need to go and find them. I think they're in the car. Ah. So an obvious place to find a pair of <laughs> Adidas insoles in my car. Need to give these a scrub. I think, think these are the right ones. Okay, I've got these XT Boost shoes looking reasonably okay. I realise I've done 180 miles of them, so I'm not quite sure whether they've got any resale value, but they don't look too bad. And as I said, they really are just too small for me. I quite like them because they were 340 grams, just weighed them. So yeah, not bad for a trail shoe. What we need to do now is take some pictures of them. Hi, I've taken pictures of all my shoes now and here they are behind me. So let's go onto eBay now and see how I can list them. So here we are on eBay and you can see I've been viewing and indeed buying up all the Nike Elite lightweight socks I can find. Probably not many left now, but these have been my favourite socks the last few years and they're now discontinued. Don't really like the, the new Nike ones. Right, so how do we actually list something? It's been about four or five years since I've actually done this. Sell. List an item. So which one should we do first? Let's do the Nike Zoom Fly Knit Streak. I'm kind of sad to be selling these actually because they do feel like a really nice shoe, and, but just a better size small. Okay, so they don't have any Nike Zoom Fly Knit Streak shoes here. So what do we do now? Oh, there is one here, Nike Zoom Fly Knit Streak. So UK size 12, brand, Nike. Okay, continue with that match. Select the condition of your item. 
new without a box continue to listing okay so now we look for the pictures i took earlier okay so let's put more a bit more details in okay so what should we do an auction set let's starting amount and let buyers compete for your item now i think that's a bit high 39 pounds i think when i did this before i set mine quite low and then see if i could drum up some interest let's say 15 pounds and let's say minimum offer of yeah 30 quid because that's probably about what i would hope to get schedule listing start time does it just start when i do it i think auction reserve price buy it now post your item Royal, let's go for royal mail sign for second class i think that's going to be a box size let's go for that one i always like to do sign for so we know that they've got it and we're off for a collection in person just in case they happen to live nearby okay list with displayed fees oh, let's do preview first there we go looks okay so just scroll down time left seven days time so next friday evening i'll be checking on these okay list it let's give it a go almost there let's just check my payment details okay so the ebay payments must have changed it's now directly into your bank account it used to be with paypal that must have stopped let's try the supernova glide 8 so this is the one actually in a box now this is a tricky one again because these would be if they were the modern pair probably about 100 pounds i think i paid about 60 quid for these um so let's see if we can recoup some of the price let's go for starting bid of 20 pounds and allow offers of 35 pounds preview okay let's go with that then 20 pounds starting bid Right, let's now go with the Nike Pegasus 32s here. Now, these are worn shoes. I have to check how many miles I've actually done in these. So, according to my list, I've got 78 miles in these. I kind of quite like these older style ones. They feel a bit more sort of fitting, a bit narrower, which is obviously good for me. And don't have this sort of react sort of foam in them. This is probably crystalline, I guess, from the Pegasus 32. And, uh, yeah, it just seemed more like... a trainer that i'd want to wear but unfortunately again they're a size too small let's go for these pure boosts now how many miles have i done in these pure boost five and a half miles so i think i did probably one run in them i can't remember that one actually i lost my car key and i went looking for it and i wore a pair of these um so yeah not the best of running shoes but um somebody may appreciate them for lifestyle a bit of an odd style because it's got this sort of wrap around tongue so another one I picked up from an outlet shop thinking oh, this is a great bargain. I think I'm going to put a starting bid of £5 for that one. And allow an offer of, say, £20 preview. Right, list it. Okay, next up we've got the Adidas Supernova ST, which I presume is the stability version of the Supernova Glide 8. It feels like rock solid. Um, I got a pair of Adidas shoes recently, which are a Gore-Tex pair, um, and they were like rock solid as well. So yeah, if you're uh, looking for a stability shoe, this may be the one to get. I don't know why I bothered to get these shoes. I go down to the outlet shop down in Portsmouth and think, feel I must have come out with something. Yeah, these are a UK 12 and a half. So they must have felt they fitted me. Um, but as you can see, they're brand new. So I might have to get something for these. So starting bid, it says 24.60. Let's have a look at how the seller's priced it. Somebody sold it for 16 pounds. Somebody 40, so something 60. So quite variable. So starting bid, let's say 12 pounds and allow an offer of say 30 pounds. I think I paid 71 pounds for these in the outlet shop. So not exactly <laughs> making a great deal here. Review. Adidas XT Boost. Okay, so this is my description. 
This was the trail version of the Adidas Adios Racing Flat from about five years ago. I've worn these for 180 miles, but busy looking good condition and should have a lot more life left in them. I stopped wearing them as they do come up slightly small. So be aware that although they are a UK 12 and a half, they may well fit about half a size shorter. As is common with many Adidas shoes, they do fit fairly narrow, but once on, give great lockdown and the gator stops most things getting in. Right, so here's a new shoe, rather heavily used shoe. So let's go for um, starting bids of five pounds, I think. And I'll allow an offer of, I think I'll say 20 pounds for them because that's a bit of a cheek to sell a shoe that's so old. So let's preview that. Okay, so here are our listings. We've got the Nike Zoom Flyknit Streaks at 15 pounds. Those are the new ones without a box though. Supernova Glide 8, they are new with the box at £20. Zoom Pegasus 32, I've put down as just 99p. Uh, I've done about 80 miles in those. Pure Boosts, they've only done 5 miles, but only put £5 for them. Supernova ST, they're not sure that they're going to be quite so popular, so I've put £12, but they are new with the box. That's not a bad offer. And then the XT Boost, a bit of a niche one, but be worth having a look at, I think. Five pounds, done 180 miles, so not quite sure how good they would be. Okay, I've listed those six shoes on eBay, and let's see if I get any money for them. The, the auction ends seven days' time, so that'll be sort of Friday, Saturday night, around about midnight on Friday night, coming Saturday morning. So I'll do another video to see if I can actually get any offers. Okay, so I hope you found this interesting. Like and subscribe and all that. I've almost got to 3,000 subscribers, so I'll be looking to do a little uh, fun one for that if I can. So I hope you found this interesting as ever. And uh, what do you think of these shoes? Is this something you want to be doing, selling your shoes? <laughs> Let's see if I get any money first. All right then, thanks a lot then. Bye.